guys, so I am coming to you pretty late, so you will either be up late with me or catch this episode tomorrow morning. Um, the other day, I made a post asking what you would like to learn from me this month, and a friend of mine commented saying how I found my motivation. I was going to create a post later on this month talking about that, but it was such a powerful question that I figured I'd just dedicate a podcast episode to it. I want to give you a peek into my daily life, if you don't already know. Um, It's also an explanation why I'm coming to you at 8 o'clock at night. (laughs) I am a single mom of two wonderful and wild boys that just turned 14 and 9 last month. I am a mental health and fitness coach. I have been for the last three and a half years. I run my podcast completely on my own, and I am writing my book completely on my own. Um, bonus fun fact, if you don't already know, I have pretty bad anxiety attacks from trauma that has happened to me in my past, um, but I have found tools to help me get better control of them, and I'm going to share all of that with you in this episode, so buckle up. All right, so let's start with finding your motivation. I'm going to be completely honest with you. A majority of the time, I don't have motivation. I don't, like, hop out of my bed every single day super excited and pumped for what the day is going to bring. Um, There are some days that I'm tired. Also, I don't know if you guys have read, I want to say it's by Mel Robbins, but she teaches you, I want to say it's like the five second rule. And so she teaches you that you count down from five to one and then you get your ass out of bed. And it really has helped me. I don't feel like pumped and excited every morning, but as far as getting out of the bed, it has helped tremendously. So you go five, four, three, two, one, and you literally jump out of bed. Like you can't sit there and snooze and check your social media and check your emails. It's five, four, three, two, one, get your ass out of bed. So that's a fun fact. If you have not tried that where you struggle with getting out of bed, read that book and also try that <laughs> for like a month and see how much more, um, I guess that you just kind of bounce out of bed instead of sitting there and screwing around. So, all right. What I do have are daily habits that I have stayed consistent with um, over time. So I feel like motivation is kind of not real, I guess, in a sense. Um, I know that we're taught all the time that if we just had more motivation, then we could get more things done, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Your motivation will show up after you get the ball rolling, not before. So what actions could you create today that will help you get the ball rolling over the next 30 days? So like I said, the five, five second rule, five second habit. I think it's five second rule. Anyways, that's something that you could start if you struggle with getting out of bed in the morning. Um, I don't always want to prep my menu for food. I don't always want to do my workout. Um, hell, I don't always want to do my dishes and my laundry, but I know that by doing those things, I will get closer to what I'm working towards. These small habits that you're creating for yourself are little promises to yourself. You were teaching yourself how to trust yourself because real talk, that shit is hard to do. It takes work to trust ourselves. And every time that you say you're going to do that workout or drink your water, do your personal development, let go of toxic relationships, etc., and you don't, then you're breaking that promise again and again to yourself. So I've been let down a lot in my life. And I don't mean that as like a sob story, like, oh, boo-hoo, boo for me. I mean it in the sense of shit has happened in my life. And that reliability with other people became, I don't know, I don't know, like slim to nothing, you know? And so one day I decided that although I can't control the promises that other people make to me, I can control the promises that I make to myself. So I reached down deep into my soul and I told the past versions of myself that she could trust me, that I had her back and that I wasn't going anywhere. And I started creating small daily promises to myself. These aren't things that all happened overnight. They have happened over years and I have readjusted them as needed. Um, So I'll use my workouts as an example. I made a promise to myself to do a 20 minute workout five days a week. Uh, If you're starting out, maybe you promise yourself three to four days a week, right? Instead, I made a promise to myself to drink 80 ounces of water a day and used an alarm on my phone as a reminder. You can set it for every two to three hours until it becomes a formed habit, and then you no longer need that, you know, constant alarm going off. 
I made a promise to myself, (laughs) and you've heard it in these last few episodes, to put myself and my needs first. So each morning before I interact with the world, I write out my affirmations and three things that I am grateful for that day. I go inward before I go outward. And maybe you've already given up on yourself and your goals because you can't find your motivation or because you think that you're not self-motivated, which by the way, is just a limited belief. It is just a note that has been filed away in your brain telling you all of the reasons that you will either not start or you will start and fail once again. So what's the point? It is time to kick those tenants out of your head because they are clearly taking up too much room and feeding off all of the negative self-talk that's in your head. Think of your thoughts as plants, like maybe you're a plant person and you water your plants every day um, and they thrive or think of them as animals. So there's the story of the wolves that you may have heard, and I'm just going to give you a brief description. So please don't quote me because I don't know it to a T, but it's where there's these two wolves inside of you and the one that you feed is the one that grows. So are you feeding the negative self-talk plant or animal and helping it willingly or not to grow big and strong? Or are you nurturing your strong self belief instead? Start with just one promise to yourself this month and write it down on your calendar or in your phone as a reminder. Think of it as taking yourself on a date. You are trying to create trust and a bond with yourself. So don't back out on yourself. Don't bail, don't cancel plans. Maybe you want to go to bed at a specific time, do your workout, leave a toxic relationship, anything that you want. This is your date no one else's. So I would love to hear what promise you're going to make to yourself this month and how you're going to schedule it into your day to day. Just send me a message on social media and we can talk. And there's also an email link on my social media. So if you want to email instead, that's totally fine. But I truly, truly love to hear of the promise that you're going to make to yourself. What date are you taking yourself on? So, and as always, here is an end of the episode affirmation for you. Grab a pencil, write it down someplace that you'll see it every day. And you should totally take a picture of it and send it to me so I know that you're actually writing these affirmations down. All right. I am keeping my promises to myself and I am celebrating myself every single day. It doesn't matter what you celebrate with. It could be a bath. It could be, I don't know, a new personal development book. Take yourself out to dinner. Like, just see the luxury that is around you, you know? It doesn't have to be something fancy, just something that brings you joy on a daily basis. Start looking into that and I promise you will see yourself and your life and the world in such a different way. If this episode resonated with you, then I would love it if you left a review and feel free to share this episode or any of them on your social media and tag me in it at barbells underscore and underscore brownies so that we can empower people all over the world. I love y'all. Thank you.